last installment of My Favorite Things of 2017. Um, this is not necessarily new products that have come out in 2017, just products that I've discovered in 2017. Um, technically, this is being filmed on January 2nd of 2018, but I didn't get a chance to do this final installment of um, My Favorite Card Making Supplies uh, in time before Christmas break because school was canceled. Um, due, due to a snowstorm on that last day that I had planned to do this and I have my daughter home and I just can't do this with my daughter home. So anyway, again, this is my favorite um, card making supplies that I've covered, um, discovered in 2017. So the first thing, I'm kind of going to go backwards to how I discovered it. The first thing is the Spellbinders Tool-in-One, which was a late year discovery for me. Um, I had done some really intricate wedding invitations for my sister um, that had a lot of like paper lace, die cut lace and stuff and um, I had hand punched everything out using my uh, my Cricut pick um, and it just was really tedious and really labor intensive and then I discovered this like the day after the wedding invitations were done um, and uh, so I ordered it and I'm like this is never going to happen to me again. I ended up using this a few times um, with the Hero Arts December 2017 kit. It had a really, um, not super intricate, but an intricate uh, window die. And I was using this to help and it was like, it was like night and day. It was amazing how just awesome this was. So I'm really happy to have that. I don't really use the pick side because I tend to use just the pick that came with my Cricut tool set. So this still has the protective rubber on top of it. It does have a few different, um, on the inside it does twist open, I, not a few different, and it has a little spatula tool as well, which I probably would not use because I just used the spatula that came with my Cricut Tools kit. So basically I just have this for the brush, which is amazing, and I highly recommend it if you do any die cutting of anything intricate or anything lacy, this is well worth the investment. I think mine was around $12 or $13. Um, I think I got it from a cherry on top. I will link below where I got mine. Definitely, uh, definitely worth it. I just, I'm really happy to have this. <clears throat> so uh, the next thing that I have to show off um, that I discovered in 2017 is the Nouveau brand embossing powder. I don't happen to have, um, actually I might have a sample to show you. No, I don't. I don't happen to have a sample on me to show. Um, it just melts really cleanly and smoothly. I've only tried the gold um, in the clear I'm sorry, not clear, white. Uh, what, gold and white are the ones that I've looked at. My clear comes from Michaels, uh, the Michaels brand. Um, definitely, they, definitely worth it. They're not, they're not expensive. Um, it melts cleanly, beautifully, smoothly. I'm really pleased to have found this. So I'm going to slowly, as my supplies of other brands start running out, I don't like to waste, so I'll just keep using what I use. And I'll be slowly but surely replacing them with the Nouveau brand because I'm really impressed with this. Uh, kind of like a tie for the second second place for embossing powder this year that I've discovered is the Lawn Fawn embossing powder. I bought the Rose Gold and it just it melts beautifully as well. So I might look into a few more of the Lawn Fawn if they have any specialty colors and the Nouveau for sure. Keeping in the same theme of Nouveau, I discovered the Tonic Nouveau Drops this year. This is the um, the swatch of some of the ones that I've collected so far. I think it's an older swatch. It doesn't really accommodate all of the colors, so I've started writing in some of my own. This is my collection. Um, I get these mostly from Blitzy. I find that Blitzy has the best price, so I'll link um, I'll link them down below. I have a couple of the gloss drops. I have a couple of glitter drops in here. Um, I have most um, most colors of the rainbow covered, although there's different shades of different colors um, that I'd like to collect. Um, the, this is a product that I use often enough and that I love enough that I definitely don't see an issue with buying more. <laughs> I do, it's to my understanding that they do even have, they offer larger bottles in some of the basic colors like white and black. So I will definitely um, be stocking up on some of the larger bottles if they're available because I do use them enough. Um, I find that it's best on a piece of scratch paper to quickly drop off um, if you're going to use it after, after a while, if you're going to use a Nouveau drop to, on a piece of scrap paper, just make a quick drop. Um, just to kind of get the little air bubble out straight up and down start squeezing it before you even hit the paper squeeze hit the paper straight up it's gonna make a little dollop on the top but it is eventually going to um, to settle down a little bit 
Um, it tends to be a little bit easier with smaller drops. I don't know if you can hear it. It's almost like, you know, you used to have to fart your Tupperware, <laughs> farting your Nouveau drop bottles before you use them on a piece of scrap paper. Straight up, start squeezing, hit the paper, straight up again. It's going to make a, that little dollop on the top kind of like a, um, like a chocolate chip has that little swirl on the top and then it's going to fall and it's going to be fine. Um, I do say, I don't know if it's just my bottle or if it's the Nouveau Drops, the black I seem to have the hardest time with even after farting it still, um, it still comes out weird. Like I don't know if it's supposed to do that or if it's just this particular bottle is not um, functioning as well. I'm not really sure. Straight up and down. That was actually a good one. And I do like this. The black seems to do it the most, but if you have any excess on the top of the bottle, don't don't close the bottle. Just rub it off. Definitely have a piece of scratch paper out when you're working with your Nouveau Drops. <clears throat> Fart my Nouveau Drop. Straight up and down. Sometimes I'll get um, too hasty and start making a ton of drops really quick and then I mess up and then it's just then it's just not good. So just be careful, mindful of what you're doing. Fart your fart your bottle before you actually start to use it on a piece of scratch paper. Make sure you rub off any excess before you start actually putting on your project. But those are perfect little dollops. And then you can even um, if if the little tip uh, is too high and these are all kind of perfect so I don't really have one to show you but if that little tip um, has a hard time going down sometimes if you pick up the piece of paper and just drop it or slam it up against your table it will kind of encourage the drops to fall definitely let these dry for a full 24 hours before you try to put them in an envelope or do anything with them I I've gone back to them like I don't know 18 hours later and they seem dry so I start packaging them up but then they're not completely dry because the next time I look at it the top is a little bit more flat so even if they seem dry they're not dry definitely give them a full 24 hours excellent color variety they have um, all in addition to all sorts of colors they have different kinds they have metallic ones which are really fun these are the crystal drops um, so the metallic ones are really fun. They have a broad range of the metallic colors. This is a metallic pink called raspberry pink. Um, I have, um, I have a copper and a silver and a pale, I think this is a pale gold, bright gold. Um, I don't have the pale gold and I have a green. So there's some metallics, there's some regular gloss type drops and you've seen with the black and the orange and the yellow here. Um, there's glitter drops, which are really fun. This one's really lovely, this honey gold color is really pretty so I recommend this one just fart your little bottle and you can make any size drop you can make bigger drops just how much how much product you're putting down on the paper determines how much how much draw, uh, the size of your drop so these are a lot of fun they're really great embellishments um, part of the issue that I have with using like gemstones and sometimes even sequins when you're attaching them to a card is that they sometimes the glue doesn't hold up perfectly or whatever um, it just uh, for for whatever reason the embellishment falls off this is making your own embellishment just directly on the paper so you don't have to worry about this falling off I absolutely love them and I'm having a blast playing with them I found all sorts of different uses for them most recently I've been making um, paper flowers with a die that I got from CC Designs, just kind of with my scraps. And I've shown these before, but I'll show them again. Um, just making them with my scraps, different la uh, four layer flowers, or three layer flowers. And um, I just have been putting a drop of Nouveau Drops in the center to kind of decorate them. Oh, this is a good example I can show you of one where it must have not quite been, this one dried for 24 hours, this drop, this one must have not quite been 24 hours before I started, um, before I packed it away. And I'm not sure if you can actually see the top is kind of a little bit flatter than the rounded top of these ones. So definitely if you're looking for that nice, round, beautiful, finished, flat top, let them dry for a full 24 hours. Don't, don't be hasty. <clears throat> I have a drawer that I set my stuff in, set it aside to, uh, <clears throat> to dry. Okay, so moving on, um, just uh, two more things it looks like to point out. Um, I love the jewel picker. This particular one is from Marvy. 
It is basically uh, a double double headed gummed thing. I believe it's for jewel jewel jewelry making or picking. This was recommended by Jennifer McGuire, um, and I absolutely love it. <clears throat> I believe I got mine from a scrapbook, Hallmark scrapbook, I believe is where mine came from, and it wasn't a bad price, and I'll link it below. Um, and basically, it's got this kind of gummy substance on either end, and you can replace the replace the tip if it wears out. I just don't know where you can get um, you can get the replacement tips. I haven't had to do that. Um, but basically, you the gummy side just helps to pick stuff up. I mostly use the bigger size because even the bigger size is still really tiny, and it's of sufficient size. I don't know if you can hear it as it's grabbing the paper to try to pick it up. But it does that with small beads and sequins. And I should have planned this a little bit better. I could have had some sequins out to show you how it picks them up very easily. Let me just grab some sequins. <clears throat> um, for easy placement on your cards, if you are happen to be using sequins or, or anything, I more than sequins, I do paper piecing. And these are just fine for picking up a piece of paper. But here's the small side. But as you can see, even the large one isn't all that big. And you just pick it up and place it in your glue. The same thing with little tiny pieces of paper when I'm doing my, my paper piecing. I had been using the quick stick from we are memory keepers <clears throat> which is okay but it has this um this gummy tip which also is okay but it's not it's not an infinite supply it does run out you have to keep ripping off the tip and pushing pushing it up a little bit more whenever it starts to get a little bit too dingy or whatever uh so the uh jewel picker was definitely a great find instead of that. So I absolutely love it. I don't believe this was very expensive. I think it was only five or six dollars. Um, and I've had I've had that one for a while. Um, I do believe that the the tips are replaceable if you need to, if the gummy ever wears off. You saw I was able to um, very quickly take um, take the ends off, but they aren't they don't easily come off. So, I mean, you don't have to worry about it just popping out while you're working with it. Um, so I believe that is on purpose because it is replaceable. I've just never actually seen any of the head replacements anywhere. <laughs> so um, it, it could just be that mine, you know, comes apart. <laughs> but it doesn't when I'm working with it, but I am able to able to get it open. So there we are with the um, Marvy Jewel Picker. And the last thing that I discovered in 2017 is the um, Spectrum Noir Shimmer Pens, um, more specifically the clear one, um, which I have been using in place of the Wink of Stella pen. I find that, the, and of course I used up all of my Wink of Stella and I've not even replaced it. So unfortunately I don't have one to compare, but the tip is broader. It's a larger pen, it holds more liquid, and I find that the, it, it's a much thicker coat of glitter that's going down. So I really love it. I picked up a three pack of the clear and I gave one to a friend and I still have another one. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. Um, I think that the shimmer is more beautiful than the Spectrum, Nor oh, I'm sorry, the Wink of Stella. And they're pretty comparably priced. They also come in colors and I don't have many of the colors. I just happen to have these ones because I think they were either a gift or something that came with something else. Um, I just have these three colors. So here's the green. And here's a nice coral color. And I don't use the colored ones very often, but they are pretty. And here's some blue. These are kind of, they're very tropical. Maybe I should make a make a point to use more of these in some tropical cards this summer. Just So they're very pretty colors. Those are the only three colored ones that I have mostly. I just use the clear. But they are pretty. I'll, I'll make an effort to use these more. Um, absolutely love these. And you can also use this for your water coloring. Just make sure if you get any, um, when the color goes on the pen, just wipe it off on a piece of scrap paper and it'll be fine. Okay, so there you have it. Those are my favorite things that I have discovered um, to help with my card making or decorate my cards in 2017. I'm gonna keep better, better records. Uh, it, uh, I'll have a full year of, of keeping track in 2018, which is this year. So I'll start, I have a little spot in my planner where I'm going to start writing down everything that I've discovered that I absolutely love. Um, I'll link sources and supplies down below if you're interested. And definitely um, look into some of these. 
if you're interested. They're a lot of fun. I absolutely love all the little the little extras that come out every year. It's it's so much fun <laughs> to try new to try new products and to collect things. Um, I do have a couple of sites where I'll have a sponsored link down below. Um, Hallmark Scrapbook is one of them. Um, if you are considering making a purchase, it would mean a lot if you used my link um, to make that purchase because it does give me some um, referral bonus points that I can use towards buying other new other crafty stuff. So anyway, so that's what we got. Um, I apologize for the delay and this is my last um, favorite things of 2017 so you won't have to endure this any longer. <laughs> Thanks very much. Take care. Bye-bye.